Today's Torah portion is Toldot, and it tells us of the marriage of Isaac and Rebekah and the birth of their two sons, Jacob and Esau. Now, it's very interesting because to, in part of this whole story, of course, we get to a very interesting part where Rebekah makes sure that it is Jacob who receives the primary blessings from Isaac, his father, rather than Esau. Isaac all along thinks it is Esau who, who is indeed the firstborn. They're twins, but it is Esau who is the firstborn. And Isaac is sure that it is Esau who should carry on uh, to get the primary blessing to be his heir. Jacob is the younger one, but Rebekah sees otherwise. And in fact, Rebekah has received a prophecy early on when she was pregnant. Uh, then God spoke to her and said, there are two nations in your womb and the older will serve the younger. So she already has a prophecy that tells her that it is the younger son who will be the heir. But Isaac doesn't know this. Now, one of the questions that has always arisen in this whole story is why the trick? Why couldn't Rebecca just go to Isaac and say, look, Isaac, I think you have it wrong here. It is Jacob that is supposed to be the firstborn or treated as the firstborn. You got to switch your blessings. Instead, she does this whole trick when Jacob and they fool Isaac. And it's very, very uncomfortable for all of us when we read this. Now, many people say, oh, that means that Jacob and Rebecca had a terrible, uh, excuse me, that uh, Isaac and Rebecca had a terrible relationship. They didn't talk. They didn't communicate. But that's so not the case, because at the very beginning, we see Isaac and Rebekah praying together for a son. Later on, when they're in Gerar, Avimelech, the king, notices that they are fondling each other and having a good time. They had a good relationship. But there's one verse that sticks out, a verse that tells us Isaac loved Esau and Rebekah loved Jacob. Rebekah knew that if she's going to go to Isaac, with his blind love at Esau to try to convince him he would not listen. They had a wonderful relationship between the two, but she knew that Esau was his blind spot. And therefore, she felt she had no choice but to play this game in order to ensure that it was Jacob who received the blessing. Because as we know, it's Jacob who is the true heir of Isaac. Sandra Osterberis bringing you a few minutes of the Torah portion.